Welcome back. We are looking at the uh, indexes will uh, in the United States. This is going to be the daily forecast for uh, 24th of September 2020. And if you want to support this channel, you're welcome to uh, uh, subscribe and like, leave a like button and hit the bell button if you want to see our uh, newest videos. So if you will see the video about uh, the fan stocks, you can basically see that most of them are really negative at the moment. And also we have Tesla that is basically falling like a rock. It's down minus 5% this morning, uh, while the other fan stocks are uh, um, are one nearly two percent they're fairly better now for example facebook but no tesla is is falling quite drastically and that is having an impact on on especially the nasdaq if you look at we'll start by looking at the uh, s&p 500 and as you can see we went all the way down uh, on the monday session to 3232 and bounced from there uh, we had a very good rally yesterday, but today we are 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 falling again. And I do expect the uh, 50 moving average here to be massive support because I think this market uh, is going to fall uh, lower. We'll most likely go all the way down to this uh, 100 moving average, which is around uh, 3,200 uh, before we bounce from here. Uh, so the reason why we fell today is because the Fed uh, of the Fed's comments or Dowish uh, comments about the US, United States economy and basically the world economy as a whole. Uh, but if you look at the technical indicators, we've seen that we are there's still no difference between the area between the signal line and the uh, and the MACD. So we are still in downward momentum. We are not about to cross the signal time line anytime soon. Even though we look at the uh, weekly chart, we're about to cross the signal line, which is uh, for the weekly chart, very, very negative. The last time we did that was all the way back in February, when we basically had this gigantic um, pullback uh, in the market. We fell all around 35%. Is that going to happen again? Maybe. The United States is uh, quite chaotic at the moment, especially the uh, with everything that is going on, and at the, the, the Congress is not technically supporting the market as it did when we were in this situation here. Uh, so we may see this market slum a lot, uh, a lot more. But uh, at this point. We're going to have this on the eye of the 100 moving average as um, significant support or the 3,500 level as significant support. To the upside, the 50 moving average is looking like it's going to be resistant. So we're going to try trade between this area before we go higher or we go lower. At this point, lower looks like the most likely option, especially if you look at the weekly uh, stochastic, we have uh, still downward pressure so price action is going to be uh, to the downside if you look at the Dow Jones so Dow Jones is actually rallying today we fell quite substantially on Monday then rallied yesterday and rallied today However, I don't expect us to cross the signal this 50 moving average, uh, which is going to be our top, and uh, our bottom is going to be this um, green line here, which is the 300 moving average and the 100 moving average, and right underneath we have the 200 moving average. So there is going to be massive uh, support within this area. So we'll most likely trade within this area. If we break this, we'll go higher to to. Uh, uh, 28,000. If we break this, we'll go much lower. Um, at this point, the technical indicators are very negative for the for the, the Dow Jones. We are oversold, so um, so uh, we'll probably have a little bit of pullback before we go uh, go down. I do expect this market to go down. The, it's the same thing where with the S P 500 and the Nasdaq. Uh, the United States economy and the world economy is not doing very well, and there is just not the support from the United States Congress 
and I don't think that the, the Fed will uh, manage all of this alone. They did not manage it uh, in 2008 in the financial crisis. They need basically Congress to intervene in order to push the market higher. And that is also the thing. If this market gets into trouble again, like we did in February, March, then uh, the only thing that basically will save this is basically an action of Congress and the Fed. So if you look at the Nasdaq, It rallied on Monday, it rallied also on Tuesday, and now on Wednesday we are having a pullback here because we have run into resistance at the 50 moving average. So as long as we are under the 50 moving average, we're not going higher. If we break the 50 moving average and I have a candle, another green candlestick above the 50 moving average, we will go and retest these uh, levels here at 11,500. Um, if we have a pullback here, we'll pull back all the way down to 10,500, which is the uh, 100 moving average. Uh, the MACD is not looking as negative as it has been. Uh, we are oversold, so we may have a pullback to this area here, a fast pullback, and then go higher. Um, that would be quite good. That would may mean that the area between the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average will become smaller and um, that will make this market much much more stable um, this just can't um, continue forever if you look at this how this price action has uh, been compared to other price actions uh, in the past for example here in 2009 we had this massive uh, drop similar to this one and then we had similar uh, gains and then we pulled back and then and so on. So uh, I expect some some uh, similar action here where we had a really nice bull run and then fell quite substantially all the way to the 150 moving average and then we continued. Um, if we were to fall back to the 50, 150 moving average then we would go all the way down to 9788. Um, Maybe we need to break these uh, moving averages first. So hope you find this video come uh, helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hitting the bell button and the like button. And uh, good luck training. It is quite chaotic out there at the moment. But uh, uh, yes, good luck.